Yo, what's going on guys? It's Optimistic Lab here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a vintage NASCAR um, t-shirt design. Um, this is my first voiceover on the channel, so this is what my voice sounds like if you don't know. Hopefully soon I can start uh, using my camera as well, but I had a lot of requests to do a more in-depth voiceover so I can give more of an explanation how everything's done. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start doing some more tutorials too because I haven't done some, I haven't done any tutorials in a while, like I think four months, five months, something like that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I collected some images here. Um, you can really be creative with the images you use in the placement, but um, yeah, I, I got some here. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this image and I'm gonna chop out the background. Now there's, there's multiple ways you can do this. I'll just show you a few here, but the, the easiest one is just to raster and then come down here to quick actions and then go remove background and then it'll load up here for a little bit and then it'll remove the background now because this is such an easy method sometimes it doesn't remove all the background and then sometimes it removes um, pieces you don't want so um, you, you can also just fix that by going with like a brush for example and um, having it on white and then coloring it back in like that for sure you can do that and then um, for the stuff you want to get rid of you can switch it to black and I'm just switching through these colors here by pressing X so like I can erase all of this just like so and get rid of that um, that's one method oh, and then I guess fill this in although that is the road yeah, so that's one method. Then another method is to come over here to um, this here and go quick select. And um, you just size this here and then I'm clicking just to, I'm holding it right now and selecting everything here. So that's another, that's another one too. And then once you've selected it all, then you you can either do layer by layer via copy or layer via cut, and that'll just cut it out like so. And then if you want a more detailed look, well, you can also come over here to the brush, and you can erase it out like that. Um, that's the best, in my opinion, if you want to do like blending, more blending, or you can come over here to the polygon lasso tool and just I I'm doing this super fast but just um, click in all of it and then once you have whatever you have like selected right then you just um, put it together like this and then do the same thing layer via copy or layer by layer via cut um, so yeah but I think for now I'm gonna go with just this method here the removed background because it's Saves a little bit of time. Sometimes the edges can also be a little bit jaggedy, but um, just for tutorial purposes, it's not too big of an issue here. So um, yeah, once you have that, convert it to smart object if you want, and then I'll just maybe position this a little bit. It doesn't matter too much right now because I've only chopped out one image and we still have a little bit with the design to do. So. Um, we have this we have this image chopped out and then I think I'm gonna go over to this um, this racer here. I'm just gonna hide that layer and I'm gonna I'm gonna chop him out but this time I'm gonna do um, this time I'm gonna do the the brush method. So I'm going to just just to save time. I'm just gonna take his head right here and his body just like so 
and then I'm going to make sure I have that selected and then go lay right cut remove that background there and then we're left with this so what I'm thinking about doing here is positioning him like over here or I could have him over here I could I could go like this flip horizontal and have it like this but then all the text and everything is mirrored so um, I think I'm gonna have it like here for now so what I'm gonna do is because this looks just absolutely brutal so you can either go you can create a clipping mask and then with the black brush you can erase it out because that way if you mess up something like oh shoot I did this on accident then you just switch the white and you can you can color it right back in if you don't want to do that you can also just use the um, you can just use a brush just like this um, that's usually what I do but um, the clipping mask method is probably a better um, way to go with it but for for now I'm just gonna go with this uh, this um, eraser method so yeah I'm just gonna erase this and it'll, I'll speed it up so Alright, so I got him all chopped out and we're just going to position him now, so I think I'm just going to find a position here, but I think like right there for now. And we're going to go to um, this image here, and I'm just going to see here move background method is gonna work for us I see all right not bad not bad kind of are starting to get our shape here as you can see so I'll size this up a little bit more here um, and don't worry too much about how the blending looks because you'll see it won't matter in a second after we do all the stuff so after I've added these then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a little bit something different here so this is gonna be kind of part of the background here this image is this checkered flag could go yeah the checkered flag could go right here and you'll see what we'll do with that and then we can have another one just like that right there perfect and we're gonna just hide the two checkered flags and we are going to um, take this guy here and with this guy, I'm just gonna go in with 
the uh, brush tool and then make sure this is rasterized. If I see here, if I put a gradient map on here, just kind of, yeah, that's 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 looking real good, just like that, just like that. And then I'll, I'm holding. If you look on the right here, I click that, and then I hold Shift and click the gradient map, so it selects both, and then pr press Control G, and now that's grouped together, so I can kind of like control both of those, and. Um, yeah, and I can just reposition this, and it's, it's you can really start to see the shape. Um, obviously, it's not looking best of the best because we still got quite a bit of things to do, but it's definitely coming together. And then if you you don't have to do black and white, like you can you can do again, like I said, you can do whatever kind of whatever kind of gradient you want to do. You can even just go like this, and then make it like a like the same sort of purple if you wanted to like anything that you think matches the vibe yeah, just like that looks, looks super dope all right so once you have your design like this um, I'm gonna go ahead and do these checkered flags so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and raster them Arrested. I'll do this one in this corner first and then I'm gonna just go in again with uh, the eraser but you can do the clipping mask method and then I I'm gonna kind of just make it look like a flag um, and you can you can kind of you could do it like this um, kind of just like that um, if you if you up the brush more it makes it fade like it, it takes longer to fade, so you can kind of, kind of do something like that if you want. All right, now for the fonts, um, I got this font called Ardvarg Bold and um, Mistral. Now both of these fonts you can get for free. Just make sure you look at the license and the terms and all that. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Denny Hamlin because that's the, that's the race car driver. And then that hide that real quick and then do the number 11 because that's the that's the team number um, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna gonna have it right here and then we're gonna if you just if you right click or control T and then right click and do skew then you can you can you can angle it like this like so so I have the 11 right here and then what I'm gonna do here is um, go here blending options and then we're gonna do color overlay we're just gonna find a purple here maybe maybe we'll do we'll do a white and then for stroke Maybe do gradients so we can go um, one side, make that orange, other side, and then maybe brighten this up a little bit. Just really mess around with things. And then maybe that, that pink, pinkish. Um, drag that over here to the center. And then make this guy purple like so yeah just like that and then you can kind of just mess around with how you want things placed Don't know that popped up yeah you can really just really just mess around
and then I'm, what I'm gonna do here is convert, right click on here and click convert to smart object. It just basically makes transforming and all of that easier. So um, I'm gonna stretch his name out a little bit. So we'll go Denny Hamlin. A bit more, and then you can do you can do super cool stuff. Like I could do do something like this. Bring that down like so. Yeah, I think that I think that looks really good, like that. So I have the text like that, and then for this little for this little Coca Cola, we could have that in front of the Denny Hamlin right there. So I'll do some effects on the Denny Hamlin first. We could we could do the same sort of thing we were doing for the other one. Alright and then I went ahead here and did the same thing that I did for this on here just without the drop shadow and I added two more strokes, a black one and a white one just like on here and then what I'm gonna do is keep keep this text like this um, and then if we turn on this um, this coca-cola one here we can bring this like this So now I'm just going to hide this real quick and we're going to go over to this um, Denny, Denny Hamlin layer and we got the effects and then I'm just going to go right click on it again and convert to smart object and basically if you don't know what a smart object is, um, if you click on it to open it then you can edit the contents inside the smart object. So don't worry you can go back. Um, so right now, basically what I'm going to do is teach you how to do this. There are b better methods to do this with um, plugins, but I'm trying to keep this stock. So what we're going to want to do here is press Control J, which will duplicate it, hide the first one. And then we're going to raster, rasterize that. And then we're going to com come over here to filter. Um, blur and radial blur and basically what this is going to do is kind of give it a 3d effect so we're going to change spin to zoom we're going to make quality um it's, it's up to you but i'm going to do quality best and then if you check here the more you drag it out the more 3d it's going to be so we're going to drag it out to about let's say 30 29 27 yeah 30 i'm going to click ok And then it's just gonna it's just gonna render. All right. So now after that it's rendered, you can see what it's done. So basically we have this text in front. And then what I'm gonna do is um, you you can hide everything else just by clicking on this eye, or and then you can drag down to remove all the contents. Um, so we got the blur. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. You, you can even put it in on top but basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to um, just drag it down and then size it down so that it fits and you could even you could put this on top and then kind of go like screen or make it do something like that if you wanted to but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it under this layer here and then it, it, it's it's sort of like trans translucent a little bit so what I'm gonna do is press Control J, and then keep doing that. Do it a bunch of times till it becomes solid like that. 
just like that. And then I'm going to select all the duplicates um, by just selecting the top one and then scrolling down to the bottom one and then holding shift and left clicking and then merge layers so that's that's all one layer now now this text is behind this and then if we turn everything else on we got everything here and then we're gonna put we're gonna move this um, to the to the bottom so that's behind everything else whoops I accidentally put it there we're gonna move it so that it's behind everything else just like this and then what we're gonna do here um, because the text basically it, it doesn't look it kind of looks a little sloppy so what we're gonna do is go drop shadow and then you can do you can be really really experimental with this too you can do kind of like a drop a little bit of a drop shadow like that or you can do an outer glow like this and then maybe you could change the color to whatever you wanted um, just 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 mess around with it until you get something that you're liking and then we could put a gradient overlay on it and then put that that gradient map that we had made earlier and then if we just if we hide some of these layers here um, just to see what it looks like you can see that the gradient overlay covers everything so you can do if you go to multiply then what that will do is it kind of puts that over just like so um, so we'll turn everything on turn everything back on see how that looks Turn that on too. I think it's it's starting to really look good. I'm gonna check out these images here. Make sure they're all looking good. Um, you can even, if you want, add like an outer glow to the car if you if you wanted to something like this. Now you can even do something as well. You can go over here to this car, duplicate it. Um, raster and then go here blur motion blur and then angle it till it's like the correct angle with the car Just to see here. that looks good make the distance a little bit less there and then click OK and you could go like Screen, light and screen like this. I just line it up like so. All right, so I went ahead and did that motion blur effect on all the images just because it gave off a better look. Um, it makes it kind of just go together. I press Control J to duplicate it. Um, put the main design on top. Hide the main design, and then we're gonna we're gonna go. Convert to smart object. Now don't delete this main design because you're gonna keep this, especially if, you, if you're if you making a pre-made design or you just wanna experiment with different versions or keep the original, definitely keep the main design. So hide that. And then what we're gonna wanna do here is this is gonna be the grain texture that we're doing. So um, we're gonna go ahead here and do a threshold so click here threshold and um, just hide that for now and then we're also gonna have the levels so just pull up the levels channel just like this hide that and then we're gonna come over here to filter go to camera raw filter and if your images are um, low quality or a bit grainy come over here to detail and go noise reduction and bring that all the way up and my, mine's already doesn't really have that much noise so we're good and we're gonna come over here to effects grain and i'm gonna put that all the way up um and you can see here does that grain and click ok and then what we're gonna do 
is we are going to um, create clipping mask and then create clipping masks so these are both clipped um, and then this is where you have to play around with things um, I'm gonna go over here to threshold and I'm going to turn it on and then it does this effect you could even, if you wanted to do like a black and white, you could kind of have it like this, but that does not look good just because of the lighting. Um, but I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go overlay and then bring the threshold. This is at zero threshold. Basically the overlay does like a crazy, like it, it, just the blend mode. Uh, you can you can go with different blend modes if you want. You can do multiply and then drag this up and then you see what it does here is it, it 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 makes it brings out the black and then makes the noise kind of black like that um, and then you just kind of gotta mess around with like the positioning um, and this is what it would look like a multiply but I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with overlay I think and then you can bring down the opacity as well um, which kind of messes with that as well I'll bring down the opacity here and then we're gonna turn on levels because this doesn't this kind of looks a little bit a little bit muddy so we're gonna come over to levels here and just mess around with the levels um, just bring this, like, this a little bit like just minor minor adjustments that make a huge difference Yeah, you can really just kind of bring in, bring it in just like that. And yeah, it it does it it does a huge difference here. Um, and then you can select all of these and then um, convert that to smart object just like that. Perfect. This is pretty much it for the design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully my instructions were clear enough. Uh, hopefully I wasn't sounding too goofy or anything like that. And if you want more tutorials like this, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know down below what you thought of the video. Subscribe, like, follow my Instagram, optimistic.lab, because that's where I post most of my designs. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And yeah, see you.